Nine months later and now some relief. Actually, I was very happy because, you know, it happened right away after he did the interview. I think that in just 24 hours, they did the investigation and everything. Nicholas Ballesteros is sharing how it's been a long battle to get justice for his teenage son. The teen who has autism was allegedly slapped in the face on the GW High School campus by this man, 33-year-old Jonathan Rabalaman. He is charged with child abuse and assault. Rabalaman has since been fired from Guam DOE, but according to Ballesteros, the police complaint he made against the aide seemed to have fallen on deaf ears. That's until he reached out to KUAM, retelling how the aide grabbed his son's backpack, causing his son to turn around and then slap him, the aide allegedly admitting to authorities to slapping the student out of reflex. I heard he did his first hearing and everything, so I'm just happy for my boy. I just want to take uh, KUAM and mostly you, Mr. Nick Delgado. Uh, probably if you didn't, you know, call me and those things, probably until now, nothing's happening. We reached out to Guam Police Spokesperson Officer Berlin Sevilla today to find out what took investigators this long. She has yet to respond or provide comment. Meantime, Rebolaman has since been released on a $2,000 bond. He was ordered by the court to have no contact and stay away from Ballesteros and Ballesteros' son.